Hey guys, Maury with 316 Automotive. We got some lights on the, uh, the Saab here the other day that uh, I'm going to show you in a minute. But what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the blue driver and see what that tells us. Instrument panel lights, that is. Okay. Blue driver tells us we've got a P0502 vehicle speed sensor A circuit low. And I'll show you what that means in the cockpit. That means you can see the door open. Of course, that's, that's normal. You see the engine light on. You see the ABS light on, you see the brake light on, oops, sorry about the windshield wipers, and you see the general warning light on. Well, I poked around on the net and I found out, yeah, it could be a wheel speed sensor. And another thing is that when you're driving, the speedo doesn't register. I was driving home from work the other day, doing 75, 80, and then the speedo just poof, dropped to zero. And uh, so I've uh, since found out that the wheel speed sensors, of course, control the speedo. And it is the, on this 2000 Saab 93, it is the driver side rear wheel speed sensor. So what I did is I got under there and I looked at, at the, the wiring. I took the speed sensor off. I sprayed it out with some contact cleaner, uh, put it all back, traced the wires as far as it would go to see uh, if there were any nicks, gouges, anything like that. And no, there wasn't. So the, um, the speed sensors and the rear, I checked both the rear, they seem to be pretty good. So the next thing that I got on the interweb and was looking around for the code and seeing what other guys have done and all these symptoms, yeah, it could be a wheel speed sensor, but since you, you don't have any wiring issues that I found, the next most logical thing would be the, um, the ABS module. Now the ABS module is right up here. See this booger right there? That's the ABS module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this connector, I'm going to take off that connector, and I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to get that thing out of there, and usually if you send it to a remanufacturer, they will, um, they will reman it, and that will solve all the problems. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to, let's see, BBA dash reman.com and they're up in Massachusetts and uh, they seem to have pretty reasonable prices and they're well regarded on the net and um, talked to a buddy of mine who is uh, even more into sobs than I am and he says they're the guys to go to so okay fine I'll uh, I'll take that off you can still drive the car without the uh, ABS brake module on there if I do, I'm going to cover it with a bag, the, um, the receptacle in there, and, uh, and zip tie it so that no, no kind of crap gets in there. Um, but I do have another car to drive. I should probably drive the other car. So it'll probably take a week, and I'll get it back, and I'll uh, let you guys know. We'll fire up the car. We'll plug in the blue driver, etc. We'll see how the new reman module goes. And... Uh, that's about it for now, but this intermittent, uh, the Christmas tree lights that you saw from the instrument panel, it's been happening probably a year and a half now. At various times, it would, it would, they'd all come on, and but the car would run fine, but it would still, and finally I'm chasing it down. I'm, I'm sick and tired of it because now it's on all the time. So, all right, time to do something with it, so I'll let you guys know. First thing you want to do is you see that this connector clip right there. 
you want to take some pliers and you want to push it out away from the module. I'm just prying it out away from the module. You can see me doing that. And that automatically lifts up the module, or not the module, but the connector. So there we go, all the way. Okay, there you go. Everything in there looks clean. So set that to the side. And now I gotta get that little connector down there. I gotta get that out of the way. And then I've got some hoses I gotta get out of the way. But that's all right. Okay. Okay. Now, you can see I've got this other connector from the bottom. I've got that off. You can't really see it real well, but it looks clean as well. Came off right from there where my finger is. You just take a small screwdriver and you stick it under the inside tab right there. I know you can't see it real well. And wiggle it around and it'll pop off. And then you have six... Uh, T20 screws right here so you got to use your your Torx T20 to get at these six screws and then this thing should pop right off so here we go okay for some of these you're gonna want to use can't really see it you're going to want to use a magnet to get those screws out. That's the on the second level. The top one's here, right there, and right, right there. Those are easy. The second level one's a little bit harder. So have your magnet and uh, oh. Uh, disconnect the battery. Safety second, I always say. All right, here's what this booger looks like. You can see these babies shake around in there. They make a little noise. It's going to go to uh, BBA Reman up in Massachusetts and and get uh, get remanufactured. Here's the mating surface over here. You can see those things, and those are not wobbly. Those are in there pretty firm. All right, uh, we got the um, the ABS module back. And they remanufactured it, 85 bucks, and it took it took about uh, 12 days or so for them to you know ship it out to get it back. So not terrible, and the price is pretty good, so I couldn't complain. So the screws are fiddly, so you got to have a magnet with you on that. Hey guys, you got six screws here that are holding the ABS module in. It's a Torx T20. So just be aware of that when you're replacing these ABS modules. The bottom two, really fiddly. The middle ones, eh, okay, top ones, easy. Here's a top tip. That the bottom screw that is on the outboard side, you can't see it. So what am I doing here? Taking a little super glue, putting it on my T20 bit, put my screw on there, going to hold it for just a second, and then what's going to happen now is I can work blind and I can get this thing in there and it won't come off the bit. See I got all the bolts in, top two, the middle two you can't see, and the bottom you can't see, but uh, I'm going to tighten them up now, and then uh, you got to do the connections, 
of two connectors that I told you about. Now we're gonna put the blue driver on it and we're gonna see what it looks like. All right, mechanically it's all put in and tightened down. Now I gotta get the connectors and there's one right there, the big one. I'm gonna get that last. There's a little booger way down there, that yellow one that I showed you. I'm gonna do that blind. See that little clip down there? Let me see if I can get my finger on it. Right there. That's the bottom connector. It only goes in one way, so uh, push it in, push it upwards till it snaps. And then this one here, I'm gonna go back on and when I push when I push the slide in it's gonna lock down the connector see how the connector sucked down when you push the slide in that's it's a uh, it's got a ramp on it and it it sucks the pins down and gives it a positive lock all right we're gonna connect up the battery Battery's been disconnected for this, and we're gonna see what we got as far as maybe we get rid of that Christmas tree. Here's my blue driver. I'm gonna plug it in to the OBD2 port. You can see it's got power. Look at that, folks. All the lights are out except for the door, which take care of that right now. All the lights are out. That's good. Let's get the let's get the iPad going. Let's do it's already connected up. Let's go read codes. Confirm codes. Scan successful. The vehicle did not report any codes. Zero, zero, zero. Excellent. Okay, so there's another job done on the Resto for this Saab 93. It's a 2000. And the ABS module went out. Had it remanned by the good folks at uh, BBA Reman in Taunton, Mass. Comes back. You saw the codes. Uh, before I had a Christmas tree after with the new um, with the reman module no codes at all you saw my blue driver pulled everything up zero codes pretty darn happy one more thing to check off on the list we've still got a mountain of stuff to do the interior still has not been done I'm gonna get to it this is Maury Thibodeau with 316 Automotive signing off